Hey guys, what is up? This is Matthew Davis, me once again. Welcome back to another movie review, aka After I Saw. This time is going to be on Cocaine Bear. Now, throughout the majority of this video, I am going to refer to it as Sugar, just in case this video gets demonetized, which I don't think it's going to matter because since it's in the title, yeah, but I'm just going to, I'm just going to try anyway. Now, in this movie, uh, we follow a group of people, like, there's multiple different types of groups of people, and this is based on true events that have happened. A large amount of sugar has fallen from a plane involving this guy that was a veteran, I believe, and then all of the sugar is basically all over the place now, and a bear gets into it, and pretty much we have ourselves a movie about a bear on sugar and terrorizing people and pretty much it's out for blood and sugar because throughout the majority it pretty much becomes addicted to it so yeah now like i mentioned before it's based off true events that have happened in 1985 where a massive amount of sugar fell from the plane and basically yeah it's been hidden throughout the area people were trying to find the sugar and a bear was involved in it, but I don't really think that this movie is, like, the full story of what happened to the bear. Because all that they knew was that they found the bear dead after it did the sugar. This is basically an adaptation of what they think happened while the bear was on the sugar. Throughout the movie, we, uh, get, well, you know what to expect throughout the movie. With a title like this... It honestly had many people excited because honestly, it's a very ridiculous premise. But if this actually did happen, and uh, I honestly kind of hope it did, with a title like that, you pretty much know exactly what you're in for. Now, I will say though, the first 30 minutes are kind of boring. Like, it really doesn't get into what you came to see until like it reaches like a th the 30 minute mark or so. I mean, the opening, I thought, was pretty fun. But after those first few minutes, it definitely dives down a little bit. Like, it shows us multiple different characters that are going to be involved with uh, the, the entire thing, including two kids who... Honestly, I thought the kids' aspect was actually the, the best part of this whole thing in terms of the characters, because they go in for a little bit of South Park humor in their arc. At least, uh, like, a few minutes of it. And uh, there was this cop who um, lost someone... And uh, is trying to get through it. And one of the cops finds this guy, a group of people, to help him find the sugar that was left out. But there is a lot of it. So, needless to say, the bear isn't the only one trying to look for the sugar. I should also mention the fact that Ray Liotta is in the movie. And rest in peace, Ray Liotta. Um, he was very entertaining as pretty much the main bad guy. I know it would assume that the bear is the villain. But honestly, the bear is more of an anti-hero. While, yes, the bear does uh, murder people because, well, it's a bear. A bear's going to murder people even when it's not on sugar. But I honestly cared for the bear a bit much later down the line in the movie. Uh, the reason why is because, well, I can't say why, but it makes more sense if you do watch the movie. And it's a movie that I do recommend watching. The movie is very self-aware. Despite it being based on true events, it is a very self-aware movie. Unlike Pooh, Blood, and Honey, I mean, I thought that movie was fun in a very bad way. Most people thought that it was just a bad, bad movie, and I, I get that. This is basically what Pooh, Blood, and Honey should have been, because Pooh, Blood, and Honey definitely was a bit more serious. But this movie isn't something to take fully seriously, because it's probably not something that happened in real life. I mean, the whole thing, the whole storyline behind the sugar is real. But the bear part is pretty much just made for comedy, pretty much. Because it's not technically a horror film, though some people might consider it to be because it involves a creature attacking people. It's really more of a comedy. It's more going to give you laughs. It's not really scary. I mean, the only scary parts are when the bear seems like it's about to come up. But it's far more comedic. I mean, the deaths are hilarious, too. And they're some of the most hilarious deaths I've seen in a movie recently. Including one very hilarious accidental death that isn't even caused by the bear. But when it comes to the other story arcs, like the other character arcs, they're definitely on the weaker side. Despite people, most of them are actually comedic, like very funny in the movie. Including this park ranger. The cast definitely manages to have a sense of humor behind them. Just not like 
it doesn't have like a massive memorable amount of characters, but that's something to expect. It's a very ridiculous premise that is surprising that uh, would actually be based on true events. Though, like I said before, like the whole story behind it isn't probably isn't fully accurate. Like, like the whole thing, uh, like the bear going on a massive rampage after taking the sugar. It's silly, but it's honestly something that I hope did happen because, <laughs> yeah, it's it's insane. But you don't you didn't really care if the movie took place during true events or not. All that you cared about is a movie about a crazy bear just hyped up on sugar and just wanting to, you know, get more of that sugar while also, you know, taking its anger out on people. It's a silly premise, and uh, it's definitely not one to take fully seriously. And uh, while it could have been a bit more entertaining, especially, like, the fact that it's not very long, but it doesn't disappoint when it does come to the bear stuff. It's it's insane. So, yeah, Elizabeth Banks also did a pretty decent job directing it. So, yeah, needless to say, it gave me exactly what I expected. I didn't really look at the full story behind the thing. I really should have before, though um, I was told a few things, like my dad told me a few things about uh, the whole storyline. It had less to do with the bear. All that they knew was uh, the bear was dead, and I'm not going to spoil if the bear dies in the movie because, well, I'm not here for spoilers. I'm here to get my thoughts on the movie, and for the most part, I enjoyed it. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and uh, I have more videos planned, including my... Uh, you know updates on uh my new place i am really looking forward to uh, moving into that new place so yeah anyways thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys later word out